Don't touch me. I'm, I'm gonna yank it out and I'm gonna yank you out if you don't come out on your own. Just don't give me a So how much have we had to drink today? Nothing. Nothing? So why are we speeding? I'm doing 45 and you're coming up on me like I'm standing still. When you turn onto California Street okay. and use your turn signal, then you almost hit a curb. Do you want to secure people that are robbing people? Secure people houses. that are driving drunk on my roads. Shooting up houses out here. Engaging and driving under the influence can lead to unforeseen and escalating problems. So let's see these cases where drivers went down the hill due to being intoxicated. Starting with Veronica. On October 29th, 2023, Veronica Elliott, a mother from Florida, faced legal issues when her seven-year-old daughter sought help in a bar at 2 a.m. The distressed child revealed being left alone in the car, leading to a four-hour search for Elliot. Veronica, what was the last name? Yeah. Roxanne. Roxanne. Bell. Bell? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're awesome at this. Where's your mommy at? Sit next to me if you need to, okay? You don't know? You said you walked from your car. Yeah, because um, she, I fell asleep during it, and then she has a bed there ever since. Because we um, got there and like ten minutes, and then and then I, my mom said it wouldn't be long, and then she, um, after like five to ten minutes, she she just haven't came back. Okay, where is your car around here somewhere? Yeah, it's over there. I can show you it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Easy way to solve this. Run the tag on the car. Get mom's name. Get mom's address. Would you emergency like me contact number. We'll yeah. I will walk with you if that's okay. <laughs> can I walk with her? Yeah, of course. We're doing super. Yeah, well, you're doing so good. <laughs> wherever it is, okay? These guys are just helping us, okay? Okay. You tell them anything that you feel like you need to tell them. Car key okay? on the floor. And they found skydive the land. Oh boy. Phone. You found skydive the land? Phone? Yeah, there's a phone in there. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, my mom usually takes her phone. She left her phone and her boot? Yeah, those are the keys. It's the keys. Okay. Do you want to give it to this night? Yeah, he's going to help us out, okay? She can maybe be in any of these buildings. Okay. She walked off to one, but I can't see where because she turned the lights off. Okay. Has this ever happened before? Um, no. She never leaves the car without me. No? Okay. She said it's something really important. And she said it would be a real quick when it hasn't because it like was like five to ten minutes. Which way did you say she walked? Um, I couldn't see because she turned the the lights off every single one. Okay. Okay. But you don't remember which way she walked when she mm -hmm. left the car? No. Okay. Elliot admitted to leaving her child unattended, intending to quickly meet a friend for a beer. In the car. Yeah, but not. I came here to meet my friend Renan, and then I woke up in that car. That's all I know. I I, I really didn't mean to meet, leave my seven-year-old alone in the, in the car. I would never do such a thing. I mean, her, her, her dad died last year. He was murdered. He was stabbed in, in, in the in the heart. Um, like I would never try to leave my seven-year-old alone. So. When you met your friends here, Renan? Yes. When you met Renan here, did you go into the bar? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Did you have a drink? Yes. What was the last thing you remember? The last thing I remember is meeting my friend Renan here and then having a drink, and that's it. But, like, I mean, I'm not an alcoholic. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I can hold my drink. Like, I'm, I'm 35 years old. You know what I mean? Like, that was probably like my third drink. You know what I mean? So, um, it, it shouldn't have knocked me out, but Do you I feel... don't know why I was in that car. Now, 
I'm not a woman, and yeah, I don't like, know how things are. Do you feel like maybe you were violated in any way? I don't know. Like, I woke up in a car that wasn't mine. I woke up in a situation where I, I didn't know where I was at. Um, were your clothes on? My clothes were on, yes. Um, my clothes were buttoned, yes. Um, but, um, I don't know how I ended up like this. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, I shouldn't have ended up like this. Like, I've never been in a situation Oh, you're right. Like shouldn't have ended up like this. Right. Right. So probably shouldn't have come up here with your seven-year-old. Right. Well, I just came up here to, to, to say hi to my friend, have a drink, and then leave. But, like, obviously it didn't turn out that way. You know what I mean? So you right. said you had three drinks? So. Yes. What is it that you drink? Um, I drink beer. Yes. So I had two beers um, before I came here. I mean, I, I had a beer when I got here. So, yeah. I, I don't know how I got from two beers before here and then one beer and one here. I had one beer here, that's what I'm getting at. When's the last time you saw Renan? Um, I mean, obviously it's been several hours. Like, were you sitting at the bar together and then next thing you know you're waking up in the car? Well, or no, like, you um, go to the bathroom? Like, I don't, I don't remember anything from tonight. Like, like this is what I'm getting at. Like, like, um, like, tonight is very hazy. But, as far as being here, I don't know anything. You're not even getting here. I mean, yeah, in a sense, because I only had two beers, you know what I mean? But other than that, no. Well, you stated that you came here to meet friends. And yes. then you remembered yeah, going into the bar, so you do remember coming here. Yes. Yes. So let's be yes. honest, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm. That's going to be the best way for this situation, okay? Yeah. Because you just left your seven year old daughter alone for six hours. Right. You understand that, right? I understand so that. So let's be honest with us. When we ask you questions, you answer them completely Most and certainly. truthfully. All right? Most certainly. All right. So after you left the bar, what happened? Not after I left the bar. After I left City Limits. Um, after you left City Limits? Yes. Tonight? Yes. When were you at City Limits tonight? Before they came here. Before yes. they Before came here? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I met my friend Renan here. And then... Veronica's arrest raised concerns about parental responsibility and child safety. Your daughter, in a way, is also victimized. Because oh, she was, absolutely. Because she was, she was left here right. to her own devices in a car that had not clearly been running for right. a long time. Which, luckily, it's the middle of the night, because if it was the middle of the day, she... Yes, sir. Okay? So, you may, be, may have been sober from those hard drugs five years ago, or I guess January. Yes, sir. Alcohol doesn't... It's, it's not right. that much different, okay? Because yes, I've I have my brother who heroin addict for 20 years. He would drink, he would still smoke weed, fall back right back into it every time. Yes, sir. Now, if you're one of the few that don't go back to it, again, alcohol is just another another avenue, right? Okay, so this this is a very serious situation. Yes, sir. All right. Um, <clears throat> not only could I mean like. He said, the people in there were nice. Right. Had they not been nice, somebody could have been like, you know what, I'm going to help you find your mom. Come get in my car. Let's right. go. You know what? Forever. Then you never see your daughter again. Yes, sir. Probably sold on a black market to become a, 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 a whore or a freaking, you know, a slave right. of some sort. Yeah. You know, or dead. Yes, sir. We could have just found her in that ditch down there. Right. Where we were looking for you. I understand. You no. Know, honesty goes a long way. Listen, if you're 100% clear, you can. know, you're not, I just hooked a guy up yesterday, you know, oh, yeah. who was honest with me and said, you know what, I got some heroin here, I got some boxing here, I got I some needles here, right? Thing. So I took yes, care sir. of him, guess what? He went to jail, but he, he didn't get pounded like he could have got pounded right. because he was honest. You're facing possible charges of child neglect, child endangerment. I understand. All, I'm, there's a lot of stuff that'll Take her away from you. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's so you won't see her anymore. 
I, even I, I when you not, get out of prison. I mean, her, her, her dad was murdered last year, you know, and, and it had a huge effect on me, you know what I mean? Um, and I, I wish tonight was different. And, and I'm sorry to hear that he was murdered, me. but she's got to be your priority. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. I know she's a huge eye opener, but, you know, it's not going to change the events of tonight. All right. So, yes, sir. Is there a reason you're wearing long sleeves? Um, just because it's cold tonight. When's the last time you used? Um, the last time we used was in January. Would you mind rolling up your sleeves? No, yeah, certainly. Sir. Right. Is there any particular reason why you left your daughter and did not bring your phone with you? Um, I just went in to go see a friend real quick, honestly, and then it, it, it turned into me being inebriated and not being able to function. All right, before we go any further, yes, sir. I do this with everybody because yes, when we sir, ask sir. questions and stuff like that, okay? Doesn't necessarily mean you're going to jail, doesn't necessarily mean that, but okay. I just want to show you your rights, okay? So you have the right to remain silent, and anything you say may be used as you as evidence against you. Yes, you have the right to talk to an attorney and have him or her present with you now or at any time during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you. <laughs> if at any time you wish to stop talking or have an attorney present, all questioning will be stopped at your request. Do you understand these rights? Yes, sir. All right, and with these rights, um, with these rights in mind, do you want to keep talking to us? Of course. Okay. Thank you. I just, I mean, your this is... It's for your protection and ours. Okay. So it's just to, you know, just to protect you and, and your rights. Because if we ask you questions and you lie, well, now you just committed perjury. Right. Okay. If we ask you questions and you tell us something that lead us to see that you're a victim of something. Which is what I was trying to allude to earlier when I was asking yes, those questions to see if maybe you are a victim right. of something. Right. I you know? mean, I've if never. If somebody drugged you or something like that. I've never been. Okay. This so after three drinks. So I, I am. Have no idea. Trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. Yes, sir. All right, because me as a parent, I have a son, and I would never, in my right mind, do right. anything like that. I mean, I have a so, DCF case. You know what I mean? Like, I, I would never. You know what I mean? But I, I, I honestly. Officer, I have, I have no idea how I got to this point. Literally, you know, I mean? like what woke me up is your all bright lights. You know, like I, I I've never been like I mean, all I drink was beer. I, I had three beers. So I remember getting here. I remember having a beer, and then that's it. I don't know how I woke up in a car that looks like mine. I mean, it's very similar to mine. Um, and then leaving my daughter. You know, it was supposed to be just a very brief interaction, and I was supposed to go out. And then, so I have to ask, yes, sir. not wearing any shoes, yeah. which is fine. I mean, I had people flip -flops. don't wear no shoes. But you flip tops are in your car, so yes, did you go into the bar with no shoes on? Uh, I mean, I had to have, um, but like I said, it's supposed to be a, a very brief interaction. And I was to go if you thought this escalated quickly. Wait until you see this case. The seemingly routine scenario of a speeding traffic stop took an unexpected turn when a woman, displaying signs of intoxication, became uncooperative, resulting in a DUI arrest. Police officers detected a strong smell of alcohol emanating from the driver. Have we had anything to drink today? No. No. Our you... ax just left us. He's actually, like, en route. Huh? Our ax boyfriend. Okay, your axe? Kind of. So how much have we had to drink today? Nothing. Nothing, so why are we speeding? I'm doing 45, and you're coming up on me like I'm standing still in a 35 mile an hour zone. You have your ID on you? Of course I do. Do you want my passport, or which one do you want? Mm. No attitude. Nah, no, I'm being honest. You want to call Katie? You want me to call Kevin? Or Tammy? Four and one thirteen. Cool. No, excuse me. I'm sorry me. I'm calling Diane Quinn. Actually, I don't care who you're calling. Come on. Okay. 
Don't touch my phone. I'm, I'm going to yank it out and I'm going to yank you out if you don't come out on your own. Don't. Just don't, don't give me f my shit. Let's go. Record him. Record him. I got it. This side. She's refusing to come out. I'm not refusing anything. No, I want to smoke a cigarette. I'm fine. I'm actually. All right, put the cigarette down. Can I please? No, put the cigarette down. Come on. Come on. Please. Man, you need to listen to him. Let's go. Please. All right, watch out. Please. Over here. We're going to close the door. Listen, ma'am, we're going over here. All right, go with that. I'm going to stay here. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Chicago, Chicago. Right above here for me. Shot. Actually, cops get shot, which sucks. All right, so have we had anything to drink today? No. No? So why are you slurring? Why am I slurring? Because our, my boyfriend actually jumped out of the car about 20 miles back. So if I'm a little bit upset and I'm also in school for nursing, I'm going to be a child Despite attempts to conduct sobriety tests, the driver exhibited non-compliance, leading to her arrest. We're gonna go ahead and play this game. All right, so based on your driving pattern, well, not really, I didn't really have a driving pattern, it's but just, that. You just have based to on your, okay, well, good. I don't care about your car. boyfriend right now. It doesn't matter based on your so, you're so you're speech, I'm thinking, thinking you're under the inf you. influence of alcohol. With you. Good, I, I, I think you're trained. under the influence of alcohol. Do you want to participate in uh, field sobriety exercises? No, I don't have to. Okay. Sorry, Chicago okay. taught me better. So she is the registered owner, mm -hmm. not valid, she's tag, and a um, business purposes only. So mm -hmm. she's coming from her aunt's house, she's not in business. Yep. Okay. Can you just. No, I cannot. This is. You, you wanted to play this game? Um, so let's play. How much have we had to drink tonight? Nothing. Oh. Do you want to take care of people that are robbing people? Take care of people that are driving drunk on my roads. Shooting up houses out here, f robbing people. You want to take care of those people? I'm taking care of people that are driving, uh, driving crazy right now. You're fucking making up your own story at this point. Okay. So, do you yeah, want to participate in uh, field so sobriety exercises? God. I asked you for a lighter. I would have cooperated with you. You have no idea what the hell. We okay, just I'm not here for what's going on. Last 25 minutes. You want to sit there and say I've been drinking? I will sit there and do handstands. I don't care about your handstands. Do you, you want to do? Do you want to do field sobriety exercises? Yes I can no? do a field sobriety that you can't even pass. Okay, so do you want to do, do you want to do uh, field sobriety exercises? Yes or no? What do you want me to do? It's a yes or no answer. What do you want me to do? Yes or no answer answer my question. No, you answer mine. That's not how this game works. No, sir, that's not how it works. Yes, that is exactly how this works. It's a yes or no answer. Do you wish to participate in field sobriety exercises? I'm going to call my grandpa. So, oh my yes or no? Yes or no? Do you want, do you want me to do back then? I'm sorry, if someone's drunk, can they do that? Probably not, right? So, yes or no? Call my grandpa right now. So yes or no? Please. Thank you. Yes or no? No, don't worry. Someone's about to show up. All right, Aaron. So just based off your, uh, your, your coming up on me, you know, like I was standing still, your slurred speech, I believe you're running, uh, under the influence of alcohol. Not even slurred speech. Okay. The arrest unfolded due to the driver's disrespectful behavior and refusal to cooperate with directives. You can use you can stand with your feet together, your hands at your sides. Alright, so with your right index finger, it's gonna be this finger right here. You're gonna touch the top of this light. Touch the top of the light. Alright, put your hand back down. Okay. The feet together, your hands at your sides. You're gonna follow this light that you just touched with your index finger. And without moving your head, do you understand? All right, put your hand back down. All right, it's so with your eyes and your eyes only. Do not move your head. Follow this light with your eyes and your eyes only. Do you understand? Keep your head still. I 
have too much going through my mind. Hands are feet together and hands are to your sides. Yeah, I'm gonna do a backflip. The more we dig into this incident, we see the swift transition from a routine traffic stop to a DUI arrest based on observable signs of impairment and non-compliance with law enforcement directives. Stand right there, just like I told you, with the left foot on the line, your right foot in front. Yeah, but you know what? Your tests don't even measure. Okay, do so do not start that. until I tell you. What you do you understand? Alright. Are you ready for me to begin? Okay, so right back to where you were with your left foot on the line, your right foot in front of it. When I tell you, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps. You're going to go you know, go all the way down, and you're going to count up to nine. When you get down to your ninth step, you're going to use, you're going to take your lead foot. Can you do me a favor and just listen? Just stop what you're doing and listen. I'll take the taker. Why don't you actually show me what you want? And I will do that. Right, come here, I got another, I got an easier one for you. No, no. Yes, 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 yes. I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting. Roxanne! I told you to show me what you want. 4113. Female on arrest for a DUI. Do you have any guns, knives, hand grenades, explosives, and sensory devices on you? No, I got a black in my fucking seat, so you're lucky there. You have a gun in the seat? No, sir. You just said you did. Safe. I said I got a black in my seat. You're oh. welcome. Now let's move to Mayred, who could have avoided all that happened. On September 15, 2023, Mayred Quigley, a 19-year-old, faced a DUI arrest after being pulled over by a Pullman police officer for reckless driving. The officer detected the odor of alcohol upon approaching Quigley's vehicle, raising suspicions of driving under the influence. Hello. Hi. My name's Officer Westman. Stop Hi. is being recorded. The reason you're being stopped was a few things. So, when you turned onto California Street, okay. you didn't use your turn signal. Then you almost hit a curb. Then you made a left-hand turn here onto A Street, again not using your turn signal. Okay, I'm Were you sorry. just distracted by something? I just, I'm sorry, I usually... Okay. We're here uh, okay. frequently, so okay. sorry. I um, know. I see you have blood coming down your hand. What's going on with that? Oh, that's a Are you personal okay? reason, yeah. Are you sorry. okay? I'm fine. Right. Did you cut yourself? Yep. How long ago? I don't really think that's any of your business, I'm sorry. Alright, I'm just concerned. No, that's fine. No, I'm just here to... Okay, do that's... you have your driver's license with you? I do. Wait. I don't have my wallet with me, actually. Okay. I'm sorry. Do you have your registration and insurance for the car? Is, well, that... In one direction! Hello? Yep. What do you... What do you mean? I need you to focus on the task at hand. Your phone call is not the okay, priority. Sorry, I gotta go. I'm sorry, bro. What's up? I need your registration insurance for the okay. vehicle. Um, How old are you? 19. Okay. I think. Okay. I think this is my. Let me make sure. Okay, yeah. This is my recent insurance. I got a new car last year. Okay. This is here. And I think this is my... Uh, it talks about warranties and all sorts of things. Is this not the so right? that No, that one is not. This one's your registration. Okay. You were looking for an insurance car. Insurance. Okay. I think that's on my app. Great. Okay, Marie, can you come talk to me outside the car, please? Because I'm instructing you to step out of your vehicle. Is there a reason why? It's a lawful order. You have to step out of your vehicle now. Is it a lawful order? Yes, ma'am. Step out of your vehicle.
come back here. So I'm concerned. How you doing? Okay, cool. Quigley refused sobriety tests, leading to her arrest. Not at the moment. I'll come talk to you in a second. Have a seat. What are you... You haven't even... What are Would you, you like medics me to come look at your wrist? No. Okay. Can you just... Why are you arresting me? You are under arrest for operating a vehicle while under the influence of alcohol to the point that it's impaired your drink. Marid, do you want me to get your phone for you? Like I can use it? Um, well, you can have it with you. He's probably going to take you to the, yeah. the police station. You probably want to have it with Why you. am I, okay, can I ask, you guys have not had any, like, official... For DUI. Yes, why are you guys arresting me? Like, may I ask? Like, you guys have no official, like, information of why you're arresting me? Um, well, he has to go by his observation, so what he saw, what he saw. Which smelled. is what? Oh, I don't, I'm not Me gonna... not turning my fucking blinker on? Which is what half the people in Pullman do? No, I'm not going to argue. You want your phone, though? Yes, ask Nathan on my phone. Ask Nathan, okay. Appreciate you guys not walking up. Yep. Oh, what questions can I answer? I can't answer I'm, all of them. I'm her boyfriend. Yep. Can I, can I just ask what's happening? She is under arrest for DUI. She's highly intoxicated. I told her not to And drive. she's I driving her, her I told her I would walk there and I got a call saying that she was talking on her way. What are the next steps for us uh, to she'll go? She'll be with me for about the next six hours. As, as her boyfriend, what can I do? Nothing really. We're gonna make sure that her phone goes with her, so when she's so should released. I, should I contact her parents? Should I? I should I? I wouldn't. That's a way. Just, just let that that'd be her. Just that'd be her choice. What about a vehicle? We're just gonna walk it up here. Just just leave it here. Just leave yep. it here. Yep. Uh, okay. Is it on right now? Yeah. Can yeah you, don't worry about. It. We'll take care of it. Turn it off, please. Yes. Yeah. We're gonna lock it. All right. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. She'll give you a call when she has an opportunity. Can I, can I tell you something and, and not... And I'm recording. No, I know, I, if you're so. recording, whatever, <laughs> but not make it obvious to her. Sure. We just really appreciate, and this night has been very rough for her, and the reason she came over here, and I told her not to, I said I will walk to your house, and I don't know why she didn't listen, and I, but she's just not in a good place yeah. right now, so if you'll keep that in mind, I would yeah. really, so really... Yeah, heading is coming from and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Is she, is she bleeding right now? She told me she was cutting herself tonight. It's uh, dried, so it's not yeah. like so, actively I mean, bleeding. But please keep yeah. an We'll eye continue on that. to talk to her about it and try to get her resources. And we'll get her medics too right. if she needs it. Yeah, right now she Thank just doesn't want that. So, Okay. All right. I know it's a lot of information to process I, in the I, moment. I, I'm not, I'm not seeing it, but I understand, but I just, I, I, just hope you, I just want you guys to know that she's not there mentally on her yeah. side. And she's honest. I could tell by the way she's talking to you guys. She's drunk and not there. Yeah. So, yeah. I appreciate it. it. Okay. Please. All right. Please. You said they're going to be about six hours with her. Yep. And then they're trying to wait to go Did you there. find a cell so, phone? So, so in the morning, in the morning. She wanted him to look for it in the car. In the morning, should I come to the, the police station and pick her up? Um. So how about this? She wants you to find her cell phone to make sure it goes with her. Do you mind car, looking in the, in the car? car? Yeah. Yeah. You know what it looks like. Yeah. Grab her cell phone. And then, yes, she'll be able to give you a call. Do you want me to give you guys the keys? Uh, sure. If you want to roll up the windows and lock it. A subsequent breathalyzer test revealed a BAC of 0 0.179, well above the legal limit, as captured in this May Red, could have avoided all that. But instead, her resistance got her into a more serious, fearful situation. Like, is there any way I can just be like, boom, whatever, you take my so, my plan is, as long as you don't have any warrants for your arrest, and you don't have a prior DUI, then I'm not know. booking you into the county jail. Just please, like... Okay. Alright, so we'll go back to the question. Will you now I'm submit fine. to just a breath go, test? That's fine. I just okay. want to... I just want to go, okay? Right. Like, what's as soon as I can get out of here? Please, I don't want to... So the soonest you could get out of here is probably about 4 a.m. It's 2 a.m. right now. That's two hours. 
You could be here up to six. That's the longest you're allowed to be here. I know, but who's going to pick me up at 4 a.m.? No. Your boyfriend. I spoke with him. Yeah, no, he's looking with you. Wait. No, that he, not work. he said he's waiting for your phone call so he can come and pick you up. He said he's sober. He can come pick you up. Can we just get this over with, please? I'm trying to do it as quickly as possible. The next section is a question and answer section. Some of these questions are going to sound silly or redundant. I just have to ask them the same. Do you have any physical impairments? Please put your feet down. I wouldn't come to your house and put my feet on yours. Please put your feet down. No. Do you limp? Do I limp? Yes, ma'am. No. Are you sick or injured? At the moment, sure, no. Sorry, that's no. two answers. Okay. Are you under the care of a doctor or dentist? Isn't everyone under the care of a dentist? Know. I think they mean more like my you got a procedure a like coming up or something. Nope. I don't know. My mom's a dentist. I don't know. I'm always under the care of a okay. dentist. Okay. Are you diabetic or epileptic? No. Do you take insulin? No. Have you taken any medicines or drugs in the last 24 hours? No. Any prescription medications? No. Non-prescription medications? No. Those from Stone Clyden. Have you had any cocaine? No. Nope. Any marijuana? No. Any other drugs? Do you have impaired vision? No. Do you wear corrective lenses? No. Were you wearing them at the time no. you were stopped? Obviously not. Obviously not. But I gotta ask questions. Um, how many hours of sleep did you get last night? I don't know. Do you count the hours of sleep? Yeah. Sleep you get per night? Do you yeah, I got about seven and a half. I I don't know. I probably fell asleep at like one. I woke up at like. 9.30, so, I don't know, eight and a half hours, right? Okay, sure. Uh, were you driving the vehicle? Nope. That's odd. It was a ghost. It wasn't me, huh? Okay. Anything mechanically wrong with the vehicle? No. Um, my tire pressure is off, they say. But okay. Sure. Right now, but. All right. But now. yes, I was driving the vehicle. Sorry, I was making a joke. Of course I was. Okay. I appreciate that. Now these cases shed light on how driving under the influence can unexpectedly spiral into severe consequences, showcasing the importance of avoiding unlawful behaviors that not only put lives at risk, but can lead individuals to unforeseen and troubling situations. Their website mail address, all right here. The reason that's important is if they assign you a court date and you don't show up, there'd be a warrant for your arrest. This piece of paper is your copy of the breath sample. Again, just shows the results of your two breath samples. This piece of paper is called your conditions of release. So, when I release you here, this is what you have to follow. So, anytime someone's arrested for DUI, they have to be in court the next court day. It's not your trial or anything, but it's an initial appearance. They'll tell you what you're being charged with. They'll give you information. You have to be there. If you don't show up, there's a warrant for your arrest. So it's today, the 15th, the at 1 p.m. I have p.m. to be there today? Yep. Wait, what? That's not, I have class today. No, you have court today. What, in, what, here? So listen, today, 1 p.m., Colfax, Washington. That's fucking bullshit. I have class today. I have important no, meetings today. No, it's not like bullshit. Professors. You committed a crime. You need to be in court. Are you going to show up for court? If you say no, I book you into jail. Yeah, I'm going to go to court. Excellent. That's the right choice. Yeah. Your appearance at the above time and location is mandatory and it may not be waived. Your failure to personally appear for this hearing or failure to comply with the below conditions of release shall result in the immediate issuance of a bench warrant for your arrest. So when I let you go, until you see the judge, this is what you have to do. Pending this hearing, the court has ordered that you comply with the following conditions of release. One, you should not possess or consume alcohol or unprescribed controlled substances. Two, you should not drive a motor vehicle without a valid license with, while suspended or revoked and without required liability insurance or compliance with applicable responsibility laws. I promise to appear. I have received a copy of this notice, and I understand the above conditions of release, and I promise to comply and appear as directed above. Okay?
You understand where you have to be and what time? If you don't, then we'll just go to your class or your house and arrest you and then take you to jail. It would not be awesome. signatures from him. First one's your fingerprint card, goes off to the FBI. Second one is a disposition sheet used by the court to track the progress of your case. You can start putting your property back on.